It's a great time for discussing nitrous oxide is an inhalatory anesthetic from pharmacology. Just important points that you have to know. Nitrous oxide is a weak general anesthetic and so is generally not used alone but as a carrier gas, mix it with oxygen or sevafluran, desfluran. And the use of nitrous oxide is declining in uh, many countries in anesthetic practice. How is nitrous oxide produced? So you see the following equation, production of nitrous oxide from so-called ammonium nitrate. It is headed at 250 grade of uh, Celsius and decomposed in many components. Many of them are nitrous oxide and two molecules of water. But for this, the temperature is uh, is uh, controlled carefully during the production because they also can uh, formate many contaminants like uh, uh, dinitrogen or uh, ni nitrogen oxide or nitrous oxide or even uh, nitric acid. Uh, it it can be um, purified or or remove impurities uh, prior to the storage in a cylinder. How is nitrous oxide stored in a cylinder called uh, French blue? Color is blue and usually a full uh, cylinder with nitrous oxide, which is in a liquid phase, have around one. 137 bars. Uh, it is stored at temperature less than 36.5 grades of Celsius because in this uh, at this temperature or less it is in a, in a liquid phase but in a higher temperature it will uh, it can pass in a in a caseous phase. Uh, many important uh, physical chemical properties like boiling point, critical temperature, uh, critical pressure, partition coefficient, blood gas, oil gas, and MAC. Which one you have to know? Boiling point minus 88 grade of Celsius, critical temperature 36.5. As I told you, it is stored in a li liquid phase as a liquid in a cylinders, but at temperature greater than this one, it can pass in a gaseous phase. MAC, uh, it is a minimal alveolar concentration and MAC for uh, nitrous oxide is 105%. It is very high, it means that uh, as an aesthetic, it, it is weak. Minimal alveolar, alveolar concentration uh, is the alveolar concentration of the drug at which a patient do not respond to any of the surgical procedure, especially surgical incision. In comparison to other inhalatory anesthetics like sevafluran, which have 2% of, uh, of MAC, which is more, more powerful. And here you have to uh, give a lot of nitrous oxide for induction in anesthesia to a patient. How about pharmacodynamic properties? On a cardiovascular system, it reduces uh, myocardial contractility. In times that increases uh, sympathetic outflow, and this will result in a minimal change in a blood pressure. It also increases pulmonary vascular resistance and you should you should be careful and avoid uh, use of nitrous oxide in a patients with known uh, pulmonary hypertension. It also reduces tidal volume and increased respiratory rate and maintaining a, a rate of a normal minute ventilation. But it blunts response, uh, ventil ventilatory response to hypoxia and hypercarbia, as also does uh, uh, any of the inhalatory anesthetic. And at the uh, neurological system, it increases cerebral blood flow, pressure, and metabolic requirements, even 
uh, of oxygen. How about side effects? So use of uh, nitrous oxide in general anesthesia is associated with a lot of side effects, especially increased incidence of uh, post-operative no nausea and vomiting. Uh, exact etiology is unknown, but it is uh, it is uh, supposed to be uh, from uh, uh, bowel distension. Expansion of uh, nitrous oxide containing cavities. This one occur because nitrous oxide is more soluble than uh, the nitrogen, and so it diffuses from the blood into the air filled cavities uh, very quickly and already in cavities can diffuse back into the blood so it diffuses very easy so the use of nit nitrous oxide results in a in a increased pressure in air filled spaces like middle ear pneumothoraces in the tracheal cuff uh, cuffs and bowel. For example, if this one is the endotracheal tube and you have a cuff around, nitrous oxide diffuses inside of these cuffs and increase pressure. It can lead to uh, compression of, of the adjacent uh, tissues. It also has a lot of side effects on a bone marrow suppression and especially on the synthesis of DNA, metabolism of methionin, uh, timidine, tetrahydrofrolate synthesis, and by mechanism of oxidizing uh, the cobalt in ion of the vitamin B12 complex, and impairing ability, of course, of uh, of acting as a cofactor in uh, many of the reactions like methionin and other. So it causes uh, impairment in a bone marrow uh, synthesis, like bone marrow suppression, and therefore reduces this uh, synthesis of DNA and other components. So it can cause me megaloblastic anemia, uh, B12 deficient, uh, subacute de degeneration of the spinal cord, and other uh, side effects like teratogenicity. And it is never in uh, humans. It is uh, demonstrated in uh, in rats in laboratory. So a greenhouse gas is a gas that absorbs and emits radiant energy within the thermal infrared uh, range. So it is environmental polluent. Clinical use of uh, Nitrous oxide is it is used in a general anesthesia by mechanisms uh, which affect NMDA and methyl D aspartate or glutamate receptor, which decrease activity of this one and increase uh, activity on dopamine receptor as agonist. Uh, it also produces a good analgesia and is uh, agonist have an agonist activity at opioid receptors, especially at the spinal cord level by modulating descending noradrenergic pain pathway. It is a good analgesic and is used uh, often in labor during delivery uh, and as a component called Antonox. It is a 50% oxygen and 50% uh, nitrous oxide. Have a good time and hope you enjoying this video. If you like it, you can follow me. Have a good time.